Uh, got some MXPX fans here. Oh, yeah. Mike Carrera doing a featured speaking event at the Sheridan Hotel this weekend. Part of the San Diego music thing happening on Saturday. He'll also be performing an acoustic show that day and joining us via Skype. Why, it's Mike Carrera. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. How are you? Well, how are you? I'm great. I've been enjoying the summer. I've been kind of stressing over the speaking engagement, you know, but really it's, it's <laughs> going to be fun. I'm, I'm going to make it a good time. Uh, I'm going to get into the business music a bit, and I'm interested in things that are fun to me are like technology, right? how I integrate it with what I do every day. So I'm going to talk a lot about that, tell a lot of stories, but I'm excited. Cool, it's man. Bad. I can't believe you're actually nervous because you host your own Mike Herrera Hour. You got the podcast. <laughs> Obviously, you're used to speaking for long periods of time, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a little different when I feel like it's live, so I have to be somewhat, no matter what, you know, if, if it's live, you know that it's, people are staring right through you. <laughs> staring right into your, probably right into your crotch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that happens with us on guitar. camera. That's why I cross my legs, man. I recommend that trick. Absolutely. So, I, I play, you know, bass and guitar usually, so I don't have to worry about feeling vulnerable. I'm behind this, this instrument, but now I'm pretty much just out in the open with the, uh, doing the talk. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm glad that I'm doing the solo show, the performance part, before kind of like get the easy part done and focus on the talk and uh i'm going to tell a ton of mxp stories just stories in general about touring meeting people um kind of just my journey along the way but i'm really going to try to bring that bring that into everybody's lives in a in a way that they can all relate to so that's awesome, man. And I can tell you, I know a lot of the guys who throw the event and organize the San Diego music thing, and everyone's really excited about having you down here. No pressure, but everyone's really <laughs> looking forward to your, you, you talking and your engagement. Very cool. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying not to think about it too hard. <laughs> that'll just ruin everything. <laughs> yeah. So what's up in the world of music for you? I can't believe MXPX is over ten or two decades now. 20 years, man. That trips wow. me out. Yeah, we, we're actually 21 years now, and we can drink and go to bars. <laughs> That's awesome. As a collective, a collective band. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been amazing, and a lot, in a lot of ways, it's, uh, it's like two different careers. Um, the first 10 years, definitely under the, uh, under the, I don't know what you call it, the, it's not the iron curtain, it's the, the soft curtain of no technology. Right. All right. I mean, that's obvi it's obviously there was technology. I mean, we had cars and pens and paper. But, uh, <laughs> and phones. No cell phones, no Internet. Yeah, so, I mean, I, it, it's cool to, like, look back on those times and see, okay, things have completely changed. But yeah. just like anything, you have to change what you do in order to stay current. Not even just current in a, in a pop kind of way, but current – as in in your life, you know, people, just moms that have kids have iPads. So why wouldn't bands, you know, bands should be at the forefront. People in music, journalists should be at the forefront of technology as far as I'm concerned. I agree, man. I'm constantly fighting myself, and that's something that I've had to reinvent myself over the years for everything you're talking about. Even as a consumer and not being an artist, I long for the days, or should I say, I miss the days when I would go out and grab my CD or my yeah. piece of vinyl. Life I mean, you can still simple. get your vinyl, but I miss those days, man. I kind of miss simpler times, even though I embrace the technology. I imagine it's harder as an artist, too, right? It's harder, but it's, it's different. You know, it's, uh, maybe it's easier for some artists. I think it just depends on who you are, what you're inclined to. For me, I'm kind of in between. Like, I, I, I enjoy both old tools and new tools. And with technology, I try to do a little bit of everything just to see if it's something I'm completely missing. Right. And, and if it's like, okay, well, I don't really like the user ability of this, so I'll, I'll literally download like five apps at once. Sometimes I'll pay for an app even if I don't – I read the reviews or something, but in the end, sometimes you just don't like something. And I'm not afraid to just – Hold that button, delete that app. You know, like, yeah. I don't care. No. I want things I like. 
I get it, man. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have, man. I, would, I could talk to you for another half hour, but we'll do that this weekend at the Sheridan. We also Definitely. encourage people to see you uh, with uh, your music tour at the House of Blues here coming in a couple of weeks as well. Yeah, real quick, um, it is an early show. I'm in June. It's going to be tough, but get up. It'll be a great day of a lot of amazing events on Saturday for San Diego Music Thing. And then I head to Texas. I'm playing House of Blues with Five Iron Frenzy on the 20th and 21st at Dallas and Houston. I'm doing the uh, Elm Street Tattoo Convention on the 15th, which is the very next day after I leave you guys. And uh, that'll be really cool. Reverend Horton Heat, Drag the River, and awesome. myself. Awesome. Yeah. Well, much respect, my friend. We'll see you this weekend, okay? See you soon. All, All right. right. Take care. All Thanks. the best. Bye. We'll be back after this with more Night and Day TV. Chris and Michelle, hang tight.